Well, basically what the program is, Subway chooses 10 clubs across the country from a Scrabble team to a show choir in Minnesota to an all-deaf football team in California. It's really the, the full spectrum of, of interests. And what, what Subway, and me personally, find so inspiring about you guys is that you're so honest and really dig deep and that you're really contributing to the community um, and the larger DC area. So we're super inspired and impressed by you guys. And what we'll be doing is creating a two minute, from two days of shooting, we'll create a two minute documentary style piece um, that will be featured on Subway's Facebook page. So sub, facebook.com slash subway and you know, click on the High School Heroes tab. And I will send you guys links, don't you worry. Um, and that's basically it. We're so excited to be here and super excited to see you guys perform. And if anyone has questions, just find me after. Tied you to her kitchen chair. She broke your throne and cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew the hallelujah. 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 Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thou hast created me from dust and molded me from clay. Thou hast flooded my lungs with gospel and I walk in thy holy grace. Thou hast breathed into my nostrils and blessed me with life, O oh Lord. I am grateful. But alas, my God, I want to live my life. I want to explore the life thou hast graciously given me. I want to explore all my capabilities, God not just my capabilities in faith. I long to be free and out of formula, O Lord. I beseech thee, for if I am bound by thy divine will, am I not just a pawn? Have I no choices? As babies, we are laid down on our backs, having to take in the world by looking up. As we grow, we move to sitting up, then crawling on our hands and knees, and then finally we find ourselves able to stand on our own two feet. Once you felt that weight of yourself standing, you never want to lose that ability or that newfound independence. And now you stare at the world straight ahead as you begin to mold your pathway through its thickets. It's become your world. However, this pathway isn't easy. You find yourself fallen, palms scratched, knees bruised tasting the dirt against your tongue for the very first time. I've spent most of my life trying to destroy myself, running away from everything, being afraid of everyone. Fear is a string tied around my wrist. I've kissed a tin can on the shoulders of a red-haired ghost, inhaled between the lines of, on the back of a refugee, said sorry to Charlie in a lost boy's backyard. Under the blanket of night, I watched in horror as I traded myself for nothing, and still I tried to tell myself you are a good person. Dear Lord, thou hast given me life free of all sin, but my God, am I to live this life in shackles? O oh, great creator, O oh, holy of holy, I want to live my life so I cannot be a slave. O oh, Lord, I am your son, but I am a man and I yearn for freedom. Though thy scriptures do say, O oh, Lord, that if, that if I submit myself to thee, I shall be set free. But my God, what had kept me bound in the first place? Once I put myself on a stage to see what would happen. And for a second, things made sense, but everything ends and pretty soon I stopped being special. I thought I could be somebody else, anybody else, but I couldn't. 
and I couldn't take it. I still can't take it, but I do not because I'm strong, but because there's things that I love too much to leave. Not because I'm brave, but because I've seen the other side and it's a whole other hell. Not because I'm a hero, but because to give up in the most ultimate way is to surrender my existence. And the worst thing in the world to be is nothing at all. My God, I am a savage man. And my woman was made for my rib. And after the last rejection of truth left her lips, oh Lord, she finally confessed. And as she told me the story of her clutching a beer like a cup of water and opening her legs for another man, I began to hear myself, oh Lord. I heard myself in her voice, and I wanted to hold my tongue and slit her throat with it, making sure she never spoke again. My God, is this not the perfect example of the seeds I sow or the seeds I shall reap? Oh Lord, my heart was broken. <clears throat> my heart was broken, and I ached. Because I am a man, because I know reason too well. So I called upon forgiveness, and I handed her the torch to burn down this glass house. So I may not throw my stones, but only lay them down for my woman across the sea. Oh Lord, I want to see her first steps. My mom had one baby and four miscarriages prior to having me. So if she had all those babies, including myself, I'd be the youngest of six. Now, if I'm perfectly, perfectly honest with myself, I know that I probably wouldn't be here if it weren't for these miscarriages. So I thank these unborn babies for sacrificing themselves so that I could be here. I've cried before over the retelling of these miscarriages, the pained expression that my mother wears on her face with every word, the way that she'll subconsciously touch her stomach as if she can still feel them inside of her. I don't think I've ever written that down, let alone said it aloud. Sometimes I find myself wondering what if one of these kids might be a better kid than I find myself to be now. Stop me in a place I've never been, never seen before. And ask me how I feel. <coughs> My shoulders are weak. I want strength. My ears constantly ache. The only thing I see is weakness. My mind is overwhelmed by problems that aren't even my own. A pebble surrounded by boulders. A fly surrounded by birds. My existence surrounded by the universe. Problems like, how will I get to school tomorrow morning? I stood here, balancing fear and confidence. Finding out that someone would find out about the truth I was trying to accomplish. Or oh, how will I pay for Jaden's pampers? I am the backbone of my own failure. Or we just got put out. Can I, can I stay with you? When I stand, I fool the naked eye. Those who see with the eyes are blind. Yet I can't turn them away. When I sit, I fool myself into thinking that I don't have to stand again. But like fear, it comes. 16 years old and hypertension has already taken its toll from the stress that they had to get off of their chest. They'll say that you can't stand on your own, that it's not possible. They'll even convince you of your weaknesses in place of their insecurities, but I know the truth. My conditions don't define me. That's God's truth. I want bravery. Silently listening. Listening but not responding. I can fly without my wings. I don't have to be in the air to be myself, but to be myself means that I have to risk my freedom. My ability to stand is my strength. But the first step of faith is getting up. My strength is my weakness. Minimal is never good enough. My weakness is why I'm human. You gotta be willing to try it. Think of it and strive it. You'll only survive if you choose to. So I sit and pray for the day when my hero will come and cleanse my soul, baptize my lies, and save me from the drowning truth. And ask me how I feel. But I'd rather end on the truth than a lie. I'm sitting on a leather couch with my two parents in a four-bedroom blue house with a white picket fence, a swing set, and a garden. High school hero? When I first heard this term, I didn't know what it meant. So I looked it up on UrbanDictionary.com. I used to rule the world. Seas would rise when I gave the word. Now in the morning I sleep alone. Sweep the streets I used to own. I used to
When I first heard the term, I didn't know what it meant, so I look it up on UrbanDictionary.com. The two definitions I found were interesting, to say the least. One, an iPad game, where the object is to gain popularity points. The other, a guy in his 20s with no life who dwells on how good his life was in high school. Both equally helpful and unhelpful. At the bottom of the page is a single sentence. High school heroes end up real waste of space. I am sitting on a leather couch with my two parents in a four bedroom blue house with a white picket fence, a swing set, and a garden. And every morning I wave to my friends as they climb into blind and yellow buses and I walk past into the metro, where I ride an hour into the city. Why? Because it's different. But I read the end on the truth and a lie. I fought a level police sirens as they passed by my house to help that white lady. I could be in a yellow bus school with a football team and a prestigious IB program. I could be on the phone with my old friends, giggling about an imaginary future at an imaginary university in an imaginary British city, I could be. I could end this saying something like, or hold you as you cry on dark nights. Maybe that's creating a couple lines that I jot down without second thought, so, so to be honest, I have no powers, just strength. I'm trying this new thing, called honesty. But somewhere I took a wrong turn. Somehow, I ended up in a majority black school learning about the various civil wars in Africa. And when I started walking down this path, I didn't know where I was going. I couldn't see the ground underneath me, but I kept walking. Even though I didn't understand city life and I didn't really fit in to any social group, not even the group of misfits. So that's really what a high school hero is. I decided to further investigate. I learned a full definition. Turns out the high school heroes are basically the captain of the football team and the head cheerleader. The popular kids. You know what they say about being popular? It doesn't mean everyone likes you. It means everyone is afraid not to like you. So then, what embodies a true high school hero? I would kill to say I can read minds or make people fall in love with me. Even Superman is a heathen. Nor do I believe in lifesavers. I don't believe in superheroes with superpowers, saving that damsel from distress. Walking down this path was like walking on air, waiting for the moment when God would realize that you don't belong with the angels and send you crashing to the ground. But every moment is like another step. And with my right foot, I felt the scratch of concrete, and I figured out the city grid. And with my left toes wiggling in the mud, I realized that my misfittedness is what would allow me to fit in to so many different places. So what is a true high school hero? A born leader, perhaps? A sort of representative who leads the student population on? Someone motivational? Could that be me? And this wasn't me. Well, it wasn't the me that I was used to, but I was finding my footing. And with every step, the path got a little clearer, and I could see in front of me. And there are still times when I don't know where I'm going, and I don't know where I am, but the more I walk down this path, the more of it I understand and the more of it I am comfortable with. So, I guess that means that soon, it'll be time to find another wrong turn. I hear Jerusalem bells
was when I ruled the world. Unmask the sins that I've done and view me as human. I do not feel comfortable in my own skin. I am no hero. I am crying out to you, a woman bruised, lost in my own memory. I am nowhere close to perfect, but I can tell you I've experienced pain. I'm sorry I couldn't make my mother happy. So she gave me away, washing her hands clean, unaware that that is the water for my tears. I'm scared of it all. So I smile and laugh, my laugh, laugh ringing in your ears. Are you listening? The melody that's playing my happiness, my smile, can you see it? The song's over, playing the sad song of my reality quick. Change it back to the other tune. Trust me, things are only as hard as you make them. Toughen up, stand straight, and take it. I'm scared. Growing up, I was told that being black was beautiful. I am no hero. Because into the breach of hell I did go. But for any man of honor, they have no choice. But to join in the shouting of their home, their neighborhood, Wachnola. I didn't think about it. I just went with the troop of warriors sent. I am no hero. I would rather not have had to go. If there's another way, I don't know. Sure, I got my, my name carved in the alley for my involvement. But who looks to an alley for inspiration? People saw me then, thought I'd soon be dead. I think being black is OK. It's being called an African American that throws me off, and the stereotypes and labels that follow it. But I survive the war winds foulest blow. I am no hero. Unmask the sins that I've done. Unmask the sadness of my story adopted. Never feeling quite normal. Is it normal that all I see is eyes? They stare because I'm not the same color as my father. No, he is not my grandfather. No, I am not the creation of a biracial couple. I am the creation of hope. Because someone had to wish me a better life than what was given to them. I'm sorry that I can't stop wondering if I'm the missing puzzle piece of another family or a blessing, so I hide. Because I can't handle the idea of this. I have not been to, nor was I born in Africa. I am no hero. I just fought with Charlie toe to toe. His name was Charlie. I crossed his deadly path. Still feel his demonic wrath. As a little girl, I never wore superhero capes. I stuck to what I knew about princesses. In the ninth grade, I bruised my knuckles from punching the wall. It was the only thing I couldn't break. So I built a wall. A wall of happiness. I do not care to face my sins, my problems. I'm sorry I'm not the perfect daughter. Where's the good in being African American? But I'm trying. Just give me time. Time so I can figure things out. Time so I can get this down, down pat. Because after that, I promise I'll be the best daughter I can be. I'll hide behind a light up mask with a smile on my face. And I laugh so loud. My tears will never fall for anyone but the darkness of my room. There's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love is how to shoot at someone who outdrew you. It's not a cry you can hear at night, it's not somebody who's seen the light, it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. of light in every word. It doesn't matter what you heard. The holy or the broken. Hallelujah. 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 He sits in 
a crowded classroom. Backpack straps his homeless world safe and protected. An invisible red cape hides under his green tee. Every morning he looks in the mirror and sees his savior. A reflection unrecognized. How can your savior save you if you never acknowledge him? She rides the blue line to school every morning, one in a million. Her wings tied tight to her back, the very strength that binds her resides cold in her warm hands. Never once has she thought to use it. Enslaved by the fear of freedom, how can your savior ever free you if you never acknowledge her? We've lost our saviors in reflections of lifeless mirrors and desperate fears. A lost generation trained to believe that superheroes only exist in Marvel comic books. Responsibility is an unknown culture. Unity is out of style, and our judgment is clouded by our fear. Step outside of yourselves. We are more than what we have become. Saviors created by reality encouraging us to fail cannot truly save when our saviors truly lie at the end of our fingertips and yet our misguided search continues. For the truth is in these contradictions, O oh Lord. I want to be free to suffer and rejoice at the same time. I want to be rid of these shackles of subject and object. I want to be free, my Lord. I have been oppressed for too long. I yearn to be free. O oh, governor of the universe, O oh, holy of holy, I want to be free so I have faith. I do have faith, my Lord, that I will one day not be bound by any outside force. Not even you, my Lord. <coughs> not even you. Or might this just be faith? Or might this just be faith in finally being free of this pain? For is this not the root of why I cry out? I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord, because I do not know. My God, my faith can cast mountains into oceans. O Lord, I may have too much faith. I pray I don't become a slave to it. And though I have this knowledge of all this I am saying, my Lord, I have not the wisdom. So through all revelation, through all epiphany, my God, am I not just still a man of reason in my bed, thinking, aching, suffering, clutching a beer like a cup of water, praying I will have the strength to get up in the morning. 